YouTube Nation. For your success, your favorite hiking professor. At just before four in the morning, Dr. Brandon Four, I'm at the Maroon Snowmass Trailhead, and today we'll be taking the long, long trail to Snowmass Peak. Good morning. After two and a half hours of hiking, the sun is finally rising and I am at Snowmass Lake and it is just gorgeous today. I'm at 11,000 feet. Way in the back, that middle peak, that's Snowmass. So I'm actually going to hike around the lake and up towards the summit. I'm just finishing up some food and I just wanted to show that the sun is just hitting snow mass on a gorgeous morning. Finally past the lake and all the water. I'm nice and cool, my feet are wet, and it's time to start heading uphill. Basically about right here and up that. I'm at about 11.8. Finally starting to hit some easier terrain. That snow mass right in center picture. Uh, sadly, that is not humidity, it's smoke. And it is smoky today. You can smell it. I'm making good progress. I'm heading right to this notch first. And then once I'm there, I'll figure out the way to the ridge. All right. I'm going to continue to head up this way because you actually want to go here and then cut across. All right, just getting past the snow patches. Yes, August. It's called snow mass, people. And just heading straight up, trying to catch the ridge. <sighs> Thirteen seven, and the summit is in sight. Just a couple hundred feet to the summit. Oh look, the marmot is here to greet me. Yes! Yes, Snowmass Mountain, 14,092. Woo! What a day. It is just gorgeous. Sad with the smoke. Sad, I can smell it. But it is just wonderful. To have gotten here today. Oh. Whew. 
beautiful Geneva Lake down there. There's a trailhead right there, Lead King Basin. I was going to go that route, uh, and I had been talking to a lovely woman named Sam at Crystal Jeep Tours. And sadly, I just decided to eventually go the Eastern Slope. But if you ever wanna to go to Crystal and the ghost towns, Sam is the person to talk to. And look at what is out there. Oh yes, that is pyramid in the background with maroon and maroon north. Absolutely gorgeous. And as I slowly, slowly send this around, guess what you're gonna see? Oh yes, Capitol Peak, the hardest 14er in all of Colorado. I could not ask for better weather up here, yeah! It is unbelievable and warm. I would probably say close to 60 degrees. It was in the early 50s when I started at, uh, oh, really early in the morning. Uh, but about five hours and 45 minutes to summit. It's 11 miles. Boy, I feel great. And the reason why I feel great is the amount that I've accomplished in such a short period of time. Five days ago, I did Purgatory and the Grand Slam. So I did four 14ers. Then three days ago, I did Outside of Telluride, Deontay, a Traverse to Wilson and Wilson Peak. And now Snowmass Peak 57, one to go! Woo! What an echo. I love it. I'm just looking at this beautiful view and I can't believe my accomplishment. What I've done in five days. So far, 80 miles. And eight 14ers. What a run. Humbled, blessed, gratitude. All these things are running through me right now. And there's no one up here. It's just you and me. There's a couple hikers down here. They'll probably be on the summit in 10, 15 minutes. But I'll be well on my way down. And for just some fleeting moments on top of one of Colorado's 58 14ers. We're just sitting up here relaxing and listening to the birds chirp as it's just a gorgeous day. And how lucky are you to see the sun shine on the knife's edge on Capitol Peak. Back on the other side, following the trail, there's a Karen right there. And I'm just gonna find my way down and eventually head back to the lake. Basically, I found the exact same route that I came up, which is right through here. All right, let's play the game, find the Karen. All right, not fair, it's right there. But I'm just making my way down. One more steep section, and then I'm back at the lake. 
absolutely gorgeous day. I am so thrilled to get this peek in. Having a great time. Bet you wish you were here in the snowmass wilderness outside of Aspen, Colorado, hiking you know, on a beautiful August day. So here is the Karen, and you actually are supposed to cross this creek, this little stream over granite. And I, I didn't do that. I actually walked right there and took the dry spots. But apparently yesterday, a young woman was crossing right here and didn't realize this can be slick, fell 30 feet, broke two ankles, and search and rescue had to get her. Uh, a couple hikers that camped out loud, out last night told me, camped out down here last night told me that. Uh, it's a, just a, a reminder that the threat is real. I really hope this young lady is okay. If anybody has any update, please post it and let us know. And I hope she has a speedy recovery. And you just got to be safe doing these mountains. Some of you think I make it look easy but that's because I train and work my tail off. I also know the routes. I have pictures, descriptions to be able to know exactly where I'm going. But sometimes you can just make a simple mistake. I did last year and I fell 400 feet and I'm lucky to be here. So uh, I just hope this young lady is okay. And my thoughts are with her and hopefully uh, we can get an update. Oh, it's really heated up. It's, it's got to be in the 70s. And right down there is a faint trail that I'm heading for. That water is beautiful blue. That's Colorado for you. Just making my way around the lake, which by the way is not easy. <laughs> there are two trails, a lower and a higher. I didn't even try to take the lower and I still took the lower and got through the swampy stuff on the way up, but I found the higher trail on the way back. Absolutely spectacular and a perfect place to replenish my water, which I have done. That's my trail. 8.25 miles back to my car. The nice thing about this 8.25 miles is it's not a ton of elevation, couple thousand feet, and the trail is really nice, like interstate nice. Just walk fast and cruise and enjoy. Absolutely spectacular and beautiful section of the trail.
right, this at mile six is known as the log jam. So this is over water and this happened last year from all the snow. Pretty intense, right? So I'm just kind of making my way across because you can tell I'm in the middle of the river. One last incredible view of snow mass in the background. Just a few more miles, and this hike is over. I've got just less than a mile to go. What I have accomplished is nothing short of incredible. First off today, Snowmass and really a great hike. Snowmass Lake is just gorgeous. Totally see why people camp there. Wow. But it's 8.25 miles each way just to get to the lake. So 5,800 feet today, 22 miles. Uh, and I'm going to get back from summit to car in about five hours. So 10 and a half hours round trip today for this hike. And I think on the summit I said that I've done all this in five days, but that's wrong. It's six days. So... Colorado Basin, or Chicago Basin, Colorado Grand Slam. And then El Diante, the Traverse to Wilson, the Summit to Wilson Peak. And this today, in six days, is 92 miles. Yes, 92 miles, eight 14ers, many of them class three and four. Wyndham's class two, North Elias's class two, the rest are class three, I believe, or in Sunlight's class four. And total elevation gain is somewhere in the, it's like 25,000 or more. So up and down, I've done at least 50,000 feet of elevation in six days. And I mean, I'm tired and I feel amazing because I have one left and you'll figure it out and write which one it is. And it's gonna be a celebration. I can't wait. Oh, so blessed. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe. So many videos uh, to share with friends and family just for them to see what it's like to be out in nature and appreciate what we've got. So, for the last time in Snowmass and the Elk Range, because the Elk Range is done, I am for your success, your beloved favorite hiking professor, Dr. Brandon Four. Appreciate what we have get out to nature. Saw a couple people today who recognized me on the trail. Super nice. Thank you so much. And maybe one day I'll see you on the trail. Till then, take care of yourself and each other.